In this video, we'll show you how to use Sentence Shapers workbooks. When you start the program, you'll first come to the Welcome screen, shown here. People who use the program are listed on the left side of this screen. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the selected user's workbooks. Each user has his or her own workbooks and program settings. Click here to see all the selected user's workbooks. The ones shown here are built-in workbooks that come with the program, but you can also make your own workbooks. To select a workbook, click it. The workbook we've selected is the A2 workbook. In this workbook, the program helps you to create simple active sentences with prepositional phrases. Let's open this workbook and look at a typical page. To run a workbook, click this button or just click right on the picture. Now we'll look at the important features on a workbook page. Here's what we'll call the main picture in the middle of the screen. Most, but not all, workbooks have pictures on their pages. By the way, when we say page, we actually mean a screen like the one shown here. You can make the picture larger by clicking the magnifying glass button. Click the button again to shrink the picture. On this page, we see a picture of a woman feeding a cat under a table. The user will create a sentence to describe this. Since the workbook is about prepositions, most of the pictures in this workbook will show things happening in somewhat strange locations, as in this picture. Otherwise, people would be less likely to use prepositions to describe the pictures. The vocabulary cue buttons flanking the main screen play a word, phrase, or sentence when clicked. On this workbook page, the cue buttons play the important words in the sentence. The subject, direct object, prepositional object, verb, and preposition. And they have small image labels on them. For example, if you click the button with the picture of a cat, the computer will play the cat. To include a vocabulary cue button word in your sentence, play the cue button and then record it in your own voice. To record your speech, click the microphone button at the bottom of the screen. The process of recording your speech is covered in a different video. The prompt button plays a sound file called the page prompt that is for the particular page that you're on. In this workbook, the page prompt is just a model of the target sentence. That is, the woman is feeding the cat under the table. After creating a sentence to describe the picture, you can play your recording and compare it with the program's version by clicking the prompt button. The two versions don't have to be exactly the same. There are many ways to express even a simple event like this. An important part of using Sentence Shaper is learning to pay close attention to your own speech and deciding whether it is accurate and well formed. The model of the sentence provided by the page prompt is just to give you an example of a correct description of the picture. By the way, in other workbooks, the page prompt may ask a question or give instructions rather than providing an example of a target sentence. In some workbooks, there's no prompt at all. You can always play the prompt again by clicking the prompt button. In the Users and Settings screen, you can tell the program whether and for how many pages the prompt should be played automatically. There's a separate video about user settings. Clicking the forward arrow takes you to the next page in the workbook. Click the back arrow to go to the previous page. The exit button is on the bottom left of the screen. Clicking this button will put you back in the welcome screen. The built-in workbooks can be used to work on a wide range of structures and language tasks, from simple sentences to complex ones with because clauses, and for telling stories or creating emails. We suggest that you look at the second program tutorial which provides a tour of all the built-in workbooks.